My question for you is, and the answer may be nothing, but what is what's different between this Lions team now versus to where they started? Obviously, you know, Aubrey Pleasant is gone, but like, what is different? I mean, I get, you know, winning is contagious and playing well is contagious, but in your opinion, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's different? Is the scheme different? Because they haven't brought well, in guys from the outside. It's the core team. Go ahead. I think, I think there's two things, and one you hit on them. Like, if I'm looking at what is operating at the most elite level right now for the Lions, you hit on the offensive line, Pat, 100% true. And the other is I think the Ben Johnson-Jared Goff relationship, and maybe we're under, undercounting how much but Ben Johnson has a handle on what these guys are capable of and how to get the most out of them. Because I, I, this offensive coordinator with this group of players, I don't think anybody would look at the Lions personnel offensively and say, well, of course they're scoring a ton of points. Look at the elite personnel they have. Is the only thing they have right now that you would put in the elite category, the offensive line with Amon Ross St. Brown knocking on the door of that. Amon Ross St. Brown is trending towards being the best possession slash slot receiver in the league. I don't think he's there yet. This guy's so good and he's so dedicated to his craft and that 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 feels like a Brad Holmes special. They went out and got a guy that has the skill set, the work ethic, the desire, all and people talk about how dedicated he is, man. But I I've, I've, if you say what's different, I think it's O-line play and the Ben Johnson marriage with this offense, this group of players. Kang, am I missing anything? Do you think anything else is in there? I mean, it's crazy. No, I don't think you're missing anything. Just real quick on the St. Brown thing, you, you hope to find just guys that contribute in the fourth, fifth rounds, you know? Yeah. St. Brown might be one of the best – you know, he's a top 10, top 12 receiver in this league right now. Sure looks like it. That's – you know. I know. You can't ask for that. Honestly, you can't. It's That's a, just something that – do you call that a Brad Holmes special? Because, I mean, Cooper Cup and his success over with the Rams, you can't expect that. No. I, I don't know. I don't care what they say. Well, we think he's going to be a top five receiver. In the fourth round, you should have took him earlier then. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, what, right. what were you waiting for? Well, he he now is literally – 10th in the NFL in yards receiving. 